Okay then my friends, so in the last lesson we explored what a foreign key was and we added a foreign key column to the ninja's table which was dojo underscore ID so that every ninja record now belongs to a single dojo record and we also created that dojo's table with a bunch of dojo records inside it. So we've handled the first step of forming that relationship between two database tables by adding that foreign key column. But there's one more thing we need to do to kind of complete this relationship between the data and that is to describe it within the data models themselves. Because right now, even though we've added that foreign key column to the ninja's table, which points to a dojo ID, the eloquent models don't really know about that relationship programmatically. And if we were to use an instance of the ninja model, for example, which contains a ninja record, then although we could access that dojo ID property on it and grab the ID, we couldn't really directly access the dojo information on it, like the dojo name and the location. So we've created the relationship from a database perspective, I guess you could say, but now we need to carry that into the models directly from a more programmatic perspective. So then to implement this model relationship and tell Eloquent that our models are connected, we need to add some additional logic to the models themselves. So I'm going to start with the Ninja model and I'm going to come to the bottom of the class and add a new public function called Dojo. Then inside that function, I'm going to return a value, which is going to be dollar sign this. And then I'm going to use a method on that called belongs to and invoke it. And this method describes a relationship between two data models or tables. And we're saying here that a ninja record belongs to something else, another model. And that model is going to be the dojo model. So we can say dojo, and then a double column right here and then class to get the fully uh, qualified dojo class. And that's all there is to it. We're now saying that the ninja model is directly related to the dojo model in that each ninja record now belongs to a dojo record. And this means now in our code, we can easily access dojo data from a ninja instance because under the hood, Eloquent knows about that relationship now and it can grab whatever related data it needs from the database for us. So for example, I could now use a dojo property on a ninja instance to get the dojo information. And I could use the name, location, or description properties on that dojo too, which is really nice. And again, Eloquent handles all the underlying data connection for us. Okay, cool. So now let's head to the dojo model. Um, we're going to define the reverse relationship there too, because if in the future we want to access all the ninjas that belong to a specific dojo, then we'll need that relationship in place. So then this works in pretty much the same way in that we first of all need to define a public function. This time it's going to be called ninjas because we want to access the ninjas associated with the dojo. And then inside this function, we can say return and then it's going to be dollar sign this. And then we're going to use a method called has many. So this time the relationship method is a little bit different because from the dojo's perspective, it doesn't really belong to a single ninja, right? More accurately, a dojo has many ninjas associated with it. So now inside here, we can pass in ninja, then a double colon and then class. And that's it. Now we're saying that a dojo instance has many ninja records associated with it. So programmatically, we could access that ninja collection from any given dojo by just using a property called ninjas on it. And again, Eloquent handles all the underlying data queries for us to make this possible. Also, just in case it wasn't obvious, the property names that we use to grab that related data match the function names inside the model. So for example, this function is called ninjas. So I would use a ninjas property on the dojo model to access the ninja collection. All right. Okay then. So now we've defined those relationships in the models, why don't we try using them in our application? So currently in the index view, we loop through all the ninjas from the ninjas table and we render a card component for each one. Now inside that card, we output the ninja name property. So now, as well as outputting the ninjas name, why don't we try outputting the dojo name from that ninja as well? To do that, I'm actually gonna cut this H3 for the ninja name and I'm going to replace it with a div tag. Then inside that div tag, I'm going to paste the H3 back in. And then below that, I'm going to add a paragraph tag. And within it, I'm going to use some double curly braces, then access the ninja variable and on that, the dojo property. 
And remember, we can do this because we added that relationship between the two models. On the dojo itself, I can access the name property of the dojo. Cool. So now we'll be outputting the ninja name and also the name of the dojo that they belong to. All right, and now in the browser, we can see the ninja name and also the dojo name as well underneath the ninja name. And you can see that some dojo names are the same like these two right here, Roberts Crooks. And that's because like we said before, many ninjas can be associated with a single dojo. Now, the way we've done this is okay, but it's not the most efficient way of showing related data because when we access related data this way, it's called lazy loading. And that means we only query for the related dojo at the moment that we need it in the code right here where we use the dojo property. And since we do this for like 50 ninjas, then it potentially will make separate queries for the related dojo many, many times. And that might be okay if you've got just a couple of ninjas, but when you're working with large amounts of ninjas and large amounts of dojos, it's gonna become quite expensive. So ideally, we don't wanna lazy load each dojo and make all those separate queries. Instead, it would be good to load all the dojos eagerly in one single query before the ninjas even get loaded into the view. And we can do that really, really easily in the controller function where we currently fetch the ninja records in the first place. So in there, we're basically fetching all those ninjas and passing them into the view. Then as Blade renders the views, we're making multiple follow-up requests for the dojos individually. Instead, we can use a method right after we use the ninja class right here called with. And as an argument to this, we can pass in the name of the related data model, which is dojo in our case. Then we carry on with the rest of the methods thereafter. So what this does is fetch all the ninjas and all the dojos related to those ninjas as well. And it does this all within a single query, which is much better from a performance perspective. And this is called eager loading because we're eagerly loading all the needed data in one query before it's passed into the view. All right, cool. So we'll see if this works, which it should in a moment. But while we're at it, I wanna also update the show function to eagerly load the related dojo for a single ninja because we're gonna show that dojo data in the show view later. So again, all we have to do is add the width method after the ninja model and pass in the dojo value, then carry on with the find or fail method after it. And this now equally loads the single dojo related to the ninja that we're fetching so that we can use that dojo data in the show view. So let's head now to that show view and we're just gonna update it a little bit to include some information about the dojo the ninja belongs to. Now, I'm actually just gonna paste this template in because it's super simple and I don't wanna waste your time by writing this out from scratch, but we just have a div right here with a few different Tailwind classes. And then we have an H3 that says dojo information. From there, we say the dojo name is ninja, then the dojo property, then the name, the location, ninja dojo location. And then about the dojo, we say ninja dojo description. So we're just accessing those different properties on the dojo now that we have already eagerly loaded and passed into this view. All right then. So let's save this and try it out. And now if we view the details of one of these, we can see dojo information as well as information about the ninja. And that's gonna be different for different ninjas because it's the dojo associated with that particular ninja. Awesome.